Good morning. This is the continuation of the bubble detection series using eViews 8. We are going to use the data from Greek stock market ethics from 2003 till 2015, almost 12, 12 and a half years of data. And the data is right now open in eViews 8 in a spreadsheet. Now, watch what I am doing. There is something called add ins here in eViews menu bar. Click the add in. In add in, you will find right tail ADF test. If this is not available, then please download this ADF test using the detailed instructions in the research paper. Research paper that has been showed to you earlier in the previous video. So I will click this right tail ADF test. The Series name is close, sample is being given here, and uh, choose test. First, we are going to do ADF test constant and trend. This reason was shown in the ADF work why we are taking this. We will be taking Monte Carlo method of eViews. This is the method Monte Carlo method of eViews, and we will click OK. New box appears here. This box we have to click here, OK. Now watch carefully. Here the ADF test probability is 33%. So this is, so let me use the pen with some color. Sorry. So here the probability is around 33%. Now 33% probability is P high. P high means the null hypothesis will remain, null fly. So null hypothesis is non-stationarity or presence of unit root. That means ADF test is showing that there is no bubble in the Greek stock exchange. But as, you, as I have shown you already that ADF test is not a foolproof test. So let's uh, do a foolproof test to understand whether it is right or wrong. So let's do the other test. So we will go to add in right tail ADF test once again. We will choose the next one from this bottom. This is RADF or rolling ADF, right tailed rolling ADF, which we have discussed in the previous video. We will select constant and trend. We will select Monte Carlo eViews. Okay. Please remember RADF and SADF, these two tests take lot of time. In fact, SADF test takes uh, much more time than RADF test. We may have to stop and re record the video because of paucity of time, and these two tests will take a lot of time. After almost a minute, this has come. You can see the input. Again, I have to click this OK. So, after almost 48 minutes, the output has come for right tail ADF test. So my observation numbers were around 1000. So please remember if you have 1000 observation numbers in your uh, time series, then the time average time for RADF test is approximately around 45 minutes to one hour. Now see why it is so interesting. You can see the bubble developing in this green uh, color this is the bubble development and more importantly if you just see the probability in the first one the probability was quite different and here you can see the probability the probability is zero so p low that means null will go null is non stationarity and alternate is stationarity and alternate also means that there is a element of mildly explosive 
exponent. And that's basically bubble. So that means a normal ADF test could not detect bubble, but a right tail ADF test can definitely detect bubble. Now we will go for the SADF test. SADF test, as I told you, will take another maybe two hours of time. So I will again pause the system and do the SADF test. I will run how to do it. So before we go into SADF test, we understand the fundamental very clearly that ADF test, regular ADF test, generally cannot identify the bubble properly but RADF and SADF because of the they cover the entire sample in a different way so for RADF in the previous video it is shown in detail so please refer to my previous video the concept of bubble development video RADF it is a rolling window system and for SADF it is definitely not a rolling window system but all the windows start at the same time and the length of the windows are different so again you have to go to add in you have to go to right tail adf test then from here you have to go to sadf this pwy 2011 these are the particular research papers on which this was first introduced constant and trend monte carlo eviews so this first part now if you see this part of the screen you can see here estimating the SADF statistics this goes a bit faster so this first will reach 100% after this reaches 100% the next stage reaches another 100% of estimation that estimation takes almost one hour so please don't be out of patience when you run this test patience is the key accuracy is the order of the day but patience is the key for this test as i told you the first part happens quickly so the first part sample size sample size oh i'm sorry sample size was around 3000 uh, sample size was around 3256 that is why it was taking a lot of time if the sample size is about 300 to 400 then obviously it is faster now this again if you watch the size down simulating finite sample distribution and sequence of critical values this is the slowest part of the story now it is zero percent it will take definitely at least an hour to reach the ultimate so i will pause the video right now but don't worry you won't be able to understand it for you it will be a continuation of a video but when you work yourself please give it the proper time please have your computer uh, locked inside a cyst uh, in, in uh, your plugged in with the charging cables and the uh, charging takes properly or the system is already pre-charged 200% should not be charged out coming back to the result which came almost after a period of 62 minutes we have received very similar result to what we have received during RADF test so let's see what we got it's a very interesting result we got something which is very similar the probability is zero probability or p value is zero means the p low null go so the alternate is accepted an alternate clearly suggests that there is a mild explosive exponent or stationarity trend stationarity there in this particular time series so it means bubble is detected so during the entire time period from 2003 to 2012 in brazil uh, in uh, greek stock market athex bubble has been detected by radf and sadf however adf being a far more rudimentary and fundamental test could not detect bubble 
so though the time taken is large though lot of patience is required for these kind of tests but these are confirmatory test of whether bubble is present in a time series or not and these bubbles are called rational bubbles rational bubbles are going to be detected by this kind of test so with the point of that i want to finish this particular video and i would request the students listening to take similar data sets of whatever time period and whatever context countries stock markets bond markets commodity markets currency markets they want to take under different circumstances and if they want to do a confirmatory analysis whether bubble is there or not then they can do a confirmatory analysis using radf as well as sadf adf remains a mandatory test in the beginning however the results are not to be taken very seriously the results that has to be taken more seriously is sadf followed by radf and adf being the first step ideally it should be done however the results does not matter much as we have proved here that bubble is evident you can see here bubble depicted clearly similar to the radf plot so this particular video finishes here with the confirmatory bubble testing of two variants of adf one is right tail adf for radf second is supremum adf for sadf thank you